Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 98. In this video, the puzzle solving technique called discontinuous nice loop AICs will be demonstrated. Here's a list of prerequisite videos for this video. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Here is the version 3 of our AIC search algorithm. Compared to the V2 version of this algorithm, this new version will demonstrate a new way of doing the BFS chaining sequence. And an extra bullet point has been added for finding discontinuous nice loops. Also, unlike the V2 version, you can search naked fish patterns for discontinuous nice loops. Assumed we've searched for AICs in candidates 1 through 8. With this demonstration, we will begin with the possible 9 candidate now highlighted. We will begin our first chaining sequence by using the 9 in cell 2, 4 as the first starting candidate. Just as before with the version 2 algorithm, we identify all the possible ending cells having a kill zone with target candidates to kill. Cell 4, 1 has a target candidate to kill with the starting cell. And cell 6, 3 has a target candidate to kill with the starting cell. Notice how we've highlighted the 9 in each of these two cells in dark gray. If we land on either of these 9 candidates with a strong link in our chaining sequence, then we know we have target candidates to kill. Next we highlight all the cells having a possible 9 candidate, sharing a house with our starting candidate in medium gray. 9 candidates in the same row, the same column, and the same block are now all highlighted in medium gray. We also highlight all the other candidates in the starting cell with our starting candidate in medium gray. If we land on any of the candidates highlighted in a medium gray with a weak link, then we have a discontinuous nice loop. The reason why this works will be demonstrated shortly. We are now ready to begin our building out of our BFS chaining sequence. But rather than alternate between strong and weak links, we are going to add as many links for each number and as far as we can go. Here are all the links we could add with the possible 9 candidate. There are no links to add for the 1. There are no links to add for the 2. There are no links to add for the 3. There are no links to add for the 4. When we get to the fives, we can add a weak link between cell 3, 9 and cell 3, 1. And this is followed by a strong link between cell 3, 1 and the 5 in cell 2, 1. Notice the 9 in cell 2, 1 is colored in a medium gray. Since the 5 being on means there's a weak link to the 9 in cell 2, 1, we have found a discontinuous nice loop. Before we remove the 9 candidate in cell 2, 1, now highlighted in red, let's consider the logic for how the discontinuous nice loop works. We begin by assuming cell 2, 1 has a value of 9 as indicated by the dark green candidate coloring. Because of a weak link relationship, the 9 in cell 2, 4 is now off and is colored dark purple. The chaining sequence kicks in and we end up with a 5 being on in cell 2, 1. But this is a contradiction. We can't have two values set on in the same cell. This means our original premise cell 2, 1 had a value of 9 causes a contradiction in the puzzle. So the 9 in cell 2, 1 can be removed from the puzzle. The next example will demonstrate a special case. Consider the following AIC search in progress. We are currently highlighting all the cells having a possible 3 candidate. We are choosing the 3 in cell 2, 4 to be our starting candidate of our AIC chaining sequence. We color all the possible 3 candidates in dark gray, sharing a kill zone with the starting cell. And we color all the possible 3 candidates in a medium gray that would be a discontinuous nice loop on a weak link. Here are all the strong and weak links we could add with the possible 3 candidate. Here are the links we could add with the possible 1 candidate. Here are all the links we could add with the possible 6 candidate. 
we are currently highlighting all the possible two candidates. And we just added a strong link between cell 8,5 and cell 2,5 with the possible two candidate. Take a closer look at cell 2,5. With the two candidate being on, there's a weak link to the three candidate within the same cell. So we have found a discontinuous nice loop and we mark the three candidate to be deleted. Since we landed on the two in cell 2,5 with a strong link, in the cell sharing a house with the starting cell, we make a check for a new special case. The special check is we see if there's a possible two candidate in our starting cell. In this case, there is a possible two candidate, so we mark it for deletion. Before we remove the possible two candidate in cell 2,4, let's consider the logic for how the special case works. We begin by assuming the possible two candidate in cell 2,4 is on. Here is the build out of the AIC chaining sequence. As you can see, the chaining sequence results in a contradiction, having two cells set to a value of 2 in the house making up row 2. Since the possible 2 candidate in cell 2,4 results in a contradiction, we mark it as red to be removed. We remove the two candidates resulting in contradictions in their AIC chaining sequences. We update our V3 algorithm to include the strong link special case. For this puzzle, here's how we would have marked the dark gray and the lighter gray candidates. Now anytime we land with a strong link on any of the candidates colored in dark gray, we know we have target candidates to kill. And if we land on one of the candidates in the lighter gray, we know we have a discontinuous nice loop. As we build out our chaining sequence, we just color over candidates as needed, but first checking to see if the type of link qualifies as one of interest. Next, one more type of discontinuous nice loop chaining sequence will be demonstrated. Consider the following Sudoku and AIC chaining search in progress. All the cells having a possible 7 candidate are now highlighted. We choose the 7 in cell 4,3 to be the starting candidate of our chaining sequence. Based on the V3 search algorithm, we call our candidates dark and medium gray as needed. We add all the strong and weak links for the 7. We add all the strong and weak links for the 9. We add some of the links for the 3. Notice how the 3 in cell 4,7 is now colored in dark green, indicating that it is on. This causes a weak link to the 3 in cell 4,3, which is colored in medium gray. So we have a discontinuous nice loop, and we mark the candidate in red. This is different than the previous two examples, because we have a weak link to a candidate within the starting cell. We also have a discontinuous nice loop with the 7 in cell 4,7 now colored in red. We remove the candidates with AIC chaining sequences resulting in contradictions. There are seven types of AIC chaining sequence results. The first two types were demonstrated in DX Sudoku video number 96. Type X was when the chaining sequence resulted in a contradiction. Type K was when the chaining sequence had a strong link to a candidate having a kill zone with the starting candidate. I'm using letters on this slide because there already exists type 1 and type 2 and I did not want to cause any confusion. So I'm choosing letters here that I thought matched well with the type they are labeling. In this video we covered three different types. In the first example, we had a type W, which is a weak link with the starting candidate in a cell sharing a house with the starting cell. In the second example, we had a type S, which is a strong link to a candidate found in the starting cell and to a cell that is sharing a house with the starting cell. And in the third example, we had type O, which is a weak link to a candidate in the starting cell other than the starting candidate. Type C will be covered in DX Sudoku video number 99 on continuous nice loop AICs. With type C, you have a weak link back to the starting candidate within the starting cell. And type V was demonstrated in the BVE and MVE videos when the AIC chaining sequence resulted in solving the whole puzzle. 
This completes the Exodoku training video number 98. Please support the Exodoku. Thank you for watching.